Okay, I got done troubleshooting the power supply for the uh, new 2x813 amp that I got. A real nice gentleman in the club donated it. I drove down to Gig Harbor and picked it up. We'll look at that later. He said the power supply failed. He didn't know what happened. He thought maybe a transformer, rectifiers. He didn't know. He said he started to troubleshoot, didn't follow through. Good news is it has all the schematic. Uh, so I just went through and did basic troubleshooting. The other night I removed the, I lifted the uh, secondary leads. It's uh, center tap. The uh, schematic here says it's supposed to be 1750, uh, two ways into a center tap, which would be right for about 2400 volts. However, I don't think that's the original transformer. There's witness marks down here of different legs uh, where people had drilled right there. Uh, this one I think is a lower voltage transformer. He did say he was only able to get uh, three to 400 watts out of this. With 813s, you should be able to get, uh, uh, people say four to 600, but they say with 3,000 volts, you can get uh, 800 watts, 2,500 volts. It should be 600 watts, but he was only getting uh, three to six. But nevertheless, I lifted that. Those were fine. I checked the diodes. Uh, those were fine. When I put it all together, it just was drawing way too much current on the input, like it was shorted. I know it wasn't the transformer because I had lifted those off the rectifier's nose work. I said, well, the only thing it could be something downstream or the cap. So uh, yeah, there's four caps and they are 14 microfarads a piece. I says, well, they're all in parallel it's process of elimination. You just cut them in half and see where they were. So I cut them in half. Uh, these two were fine and uh, there was a short across these two. So then I cut that wire again to separate these two and I found that this one did short it. I said, all right, well, he did give me some extra parts with this amp. He got two real nice 50 microfarad 4 kV caps, big, huge ones. This other real big one, a 6 kV, 35 microfarads, some transformers and uh, whatnot. So I figured I would just cut this one out of the circuit and uh, dummy in one of these bigger ones. Uh, that 50 microfarad cap gives me almost a whole total because he's indicating here on the schematic that 56 is the total. So I can almost take all four of those out and, put, and just put the one in there. I'll be a little bit short. Or maybe put two of those in there and give me 100 microfarads and get rid of all these. Uh, so anyway, very carefully, I dummied this in here. Got it on the old trusty Variac. And I have my meter. Uh, I had some arcing over problems. It would arc over to the stupid aluminum faceplate and arc back over here. See a little mark there? Scared the bejesus out of me last night on AC. So I insulated that, put it on uh, DC 5,000 volts. And with the Variac, I should be able to bring it up real slow. And I did that prior to this, and it actually worked. So Variac is on, zero volts, we're going to start cranking her up. And lo and behold, I hear some buzzing. There goes the voltmeter. So according to this scale, I don't want to get my hands too close. That should be about 1,000 volts. And it looks like the current or the voltmeter that's in the panel is fairly close. It's showing about one kilovolt, which is what this old Micron Radio Shack meter is measuring. We're at 80, I think it's 80% or 80 volts. We're going to go all the way up just because I know it works to 120. And what do we got here? So close to 2,000 volts. Uh, I guess I can point to it with something. I just don't want to get close. Screwdriver. So that should be 2,000 volts. And one. Uh, one mark before that should be about 1900 volts and according to this it's spot on spot on uh, about 1900 volts 1.9 kilovolts that's at uh, 120 if I go up a little higher 130 I get two a little over two so bleeder resistors will take that back down uh, 120 so that's a little bit light, I think, for this uh, for the 813s, but that would explain why he was getting a nice, comfortable three to 400 watts, I assume sideband. So that should do good. So <clears throat> we can continue with uh, moving forward with cleaning up the amp and bringing it online. Uh, I could decide later whether I want to go to a bigger transformer, higher voltage. This one he gave me is 1,750 volts at 400 milliamps, constant commercial service. Uh, the schematic shows uh, 500 milliamps or half amp, so I don't know. Uh, some people say they can go as high as 3,000 volt plate voltage. 
we'll have to see. But in the event, I'm past the roadblock, and that's a good thing. So I just cut that out of there, and uh, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, he could not find a cable that goes with this, this uh, Cinch Jones uh, 10 position uh, Jones plug. So I did find two of those on eBay, the mail in, so I ordered those. And I'll make up a cable, and what those do, those go over to, hey, with me, bear with me, to the amp in the back. There's the front of the amp. And in the back, uh, let's see, back it has this, oh boy, I should have got the, the female. Okay, so I didn't, I got two males, I should get a female. And this, uh, what it does is it brings all those connections for uh, things like the plate, on filament, operate, these actually control the power supply functions right here from the amp so that you can have the power supply located remotely. So I gotta get it back on eBay and order a uh, another female 10 position since Jones connector. But anyway, I think we're uh, on our way to getting this baby fired up and uh, we'll talk at you guys later.